Good day, and thank you for joining me. My name is Kat DeBizer, and I am the creator of Wise Turtle Oracle. I receive messages of inspiration for spiritual growth from my guides. I share those messages with you so that they may provide you support as you walk along the spiritual path to your higher self. If this is your first time joining me, thank you so much for stopping by. If you have enjoyed previous messages, welcome back. I hope you enjoy the message and please drop me a note in the comments. Please feel free to like and subscribe to this page and join our community. Today's message has us reviewing how we can stay connected to our true intentions in this lifetime and the contract that we made. Here is the message. How does bias affect our ability to gain access to our higher self? Bias could be simply how we see the world. But it is much more than that given where we come from. The human 3D mind is limited in capacity compared to 5D or higher. We come into this world at a moment in this 3D world's time. We signed the contract at that very second. We have certain things that we agree to do that we need to work on in this incarnation. That contract unfolds as we live our 3D human lives. We bring with us all our past lives at the cellular level. But the 3D human mind loses its recollection as we move from infancy to school age. It is that knowledge that would be helpful to us as we grow into adulthood. We can access some aspects of some past lives, either by help or alone, but the 3D mind doesn't have enough storage or power to remember them all. As we carry the energy of those past lives with us, one could say that we have certain biases at the cellular level. At birth and as the infant 3D mind, we do know the things that we need to do this time around. We sleep a lot so that we can integrate our new body into the energy that we are. We can make more easily access to our higher self during this time. As we grow, we have people who are telling us what to do and how to do it. We see and experience things that we like and things that we don't like, overlaid on top of the instruction that we are given. Then we proceed onto school, where we are given even more instruction and told how to think, when to think, and what to think. Little by little, by the time we are six or seven, we have often lost the ability that we had when we were infants to see the bigger picture. The big picture of why we are here. We are not taught that any of that matters. We don't pay attention to it at all. We continue to grow to be teenagers and we experiment and adapt to our surroundings. We start to create what we think will be our life. We begin to have more control over who our friends are, where we live, where we work, what we think, and where we go. All of this is based on likes and dislikes, which are nothing more than biases. We still may not have any understanding that there is something more to the energy that we carry around in our skin is more than just that. Many people think that we are just a human body. They do not understand that they made a contract that they are working toward fulfilling. How does our perception and bias affect how we reach those contract goals and reach our higher self? Because we don't think we have a higher self, a soul, or a contract, does that prevent us from executing that contract? Do we need to have full enlightenment in order to fulfill what we were meant to do in this incarnation? The choices that we make that create the bias that we carry in our 3D mind, what impact does it have on our ability to connect with our higher self 
even if we believe that we have a soul and higher self. Most of us cannot help but to have bias because that was how we were trained. That is what we were told from a very young age. Some things are good and some things are bad. Some things taste good and some things taste bad. You need to stay away from this and only do that. It is all so limiting. We continue to build on those biases every single day of our lives. Every single day, there are hundreds of opportunities to strengthen our biases. Bias can be ego in our 3D language. As a more enlightened being who is struggling with 3D limitations, how can we undo the trained biases that hold us back? Can we erase those things that we were taught at age five? Do we even know what those are? At some level we do. As the infant with all the knowledge, we see how far we have strayed from the pure being we were and how far we have strayed will have an impact on how long it takes us to get back there. How do we get back to that pure being that we were? The one that is so close to being connected to our higher self as you can possibly get in the physically incarnated body. We will not likely be able to undo all of the biases that we have trained ourselves to be truths. It is in all of this introspective work that we do that we hope to start to shift our biases from our true self. And every time we put ourselves to the test and we sift with a finer sieve, we can really throw away the biases that prevent us from connecting more fully to our higher self. I hope this message provides you inspiration on your own personal journey. Thank you again for joining me today. My contact information is in the description box below. I look forward to hearing from you. Please stop back to listen to other messages of inspiration. Bye for now.